Hey there friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to remove recently viewed applications from your dock. This keeps your dock nice and clean and minimalistic. I know a lot of you are really interested in organization down here and this is a small quick little trick that you can use. Let's do it right now. So many of you may have noticed that the default feature for the dock actually allows recently viewed applications to remain down here in the dock. Now, if you're a minimalist like me and like things really clean and tidy, this can be kind of annoying. So I wanna show you how to change that default feature. Uh, first, obviously what you can do is you can come in here and you can actually go to options and remove from dock. The problem is when you do this with recently viewed applications, it doesn't actually remove them permanently from the dock. So again, if I come in here and I go to applications, I'm gonna click on numbers and maybe click on uh, podcasts again. Uh, even if I'm closed out of these, what'll happen is they'll remain down here. Now, as you can see the podcast, it's showing that this is an actually open application. I'll go ahead and quit it. But even then these don't go away from the dock. So what you need to do is actually reset that default setting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to system preferences. And then within system preferences, we're actually gonna come over here to the dock. I'm gonna click on that and you can see there's all sorts of interesting options. You can actually make the dock larger, smaller, or what I am gonna be concentrating on today is this little option down here to show recent applications in the dock. Now again, here are the two applications that we opened recently that are not going away on their own. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm just gonna click on that check mark. Now if I come back down to the dock, you can see that they have officially disappeared. It really is that easy. So there you go, that is how you do it really quick. If this has helped, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? And also hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot more Mac tips, tricks, tutorial videos coming up really, really soon. Thanks for watching.